hey you guys <laughs> welcome to the channel in this video we're gonna be talking about what I love about having a three-month-old baby oh no no actually in this video we're talking about all of the things that in two months at two months that he did differently at two months like you can see three months is already taken off to a good start he's bouncing and jumping I'll share that video once I get all of the things he did different for month three but today I'm gonna share what everything that he did different for month two so one of the things that you want to look out for at month two is especially if you're breastfeeding okay it's constipation he well, not, I guess it, I wouldn't call it constipation. It is actually, the baby didn't poop. Like, he wasn't pooping every day. <laughs> he obviously likes this video. <laughs> he wasn't pooping every day, and it made me nervous. But I talked to the pediatrician, and I talked to some friends who are also nursing. <laughs> He's so excited. And... It's because when you're breastfeeding the baby, all of the nutrients that you're you're feeding them throughout your breast is used up in the body. So they typically don't poop every day, which is normal. So they said it can actually last up to seven days, which was kind of me. He never went seven whole days. Uh, yeah. I'm getting burnt. Oh, you fine. It's like I'm just joking. All right. Sorry, I got to interrupt it. The video got interrupted. I had to take that call. That was my sister-in-law calling and I just want to take I got answer. But anyway, so like I said, I was telling you guys about constipation and what happens. But uh, it lasted for seven days. He never lasted seven days. He lasted maybe three days and then he gave us a poop. But when they do poop, okay, it is a big old poop. And it, it changes. I know if you remember, if you're nursing, the texture of poop, it was like gummy and pasty almost like stuck to their butt it's like hard to clean up <laughs> when they have when they poop after you are done with your colostrum it's creamy it's very very creamy creamy poop so that's the difference here let me look at my notes keep me entertained all right all right so another thing at month two that i noticed that it was harder to change his diaper because he kicked like crazy but he always kicking like he's jumping now he kicks he kicks when i lay him down he just kick 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 so that's another thing that is harder um for him another thing that was helpful with sleeping because you know the sleep pattern how sleep pattern is he sleeps well but a swaddle is key like if you i mean there are times when he is up and he's crying and he's fussing and like he knows he's getting swaddled and he's falling asleep as we're wrapping him down. So uh, maybe your infant didn't like being swaddled when they were a baby. But when they get a little bit older, swaddling is so helpful. It was so, so helpful. I got a video, the perfect swaddle I've already posted. So check that out. I posted it before this video. So check that out. It is, it, yeah, swaddling really, really helps. Um, time. So sleeping for him is up to three to four hours at a time. So he's getting like a lot better with sleeping at nighttime. If we swaddle him at nine o'clock, he's up at one o'clock to eat 1am. And if we swaddle him at 10 o'clock, he's up at 2am to eat. And then he's get he's just getting, he's sleeping so much better. He doesn't even stay up after he gets eats. He's right back to sleep. That's it. He just wants to eat and go back to sleep. Another thing is he started having in food sensitivity. So that's when I noticed he is lactose intolerant, so he is allergic to cheese. If I eat cheese, he's puking up the breast milk. So there are certain things that you may notice. So be careful, you know, what, what you're eating, watch what you're eating. You always want to eat a nice, healthy, clean diet anyway because your baby eats what you eat. So you want to be sure to give your, your, your child a good chance at a healthy diet and eat things that are going to be good for them. So I eat a lot of carrots. I eat celery. I eat salads with green, red, and yellow peppers on them. Um, when I when I do eat red sauce, he doesn't take to it very well. But I still do eat sasceti because these are things that he's gonna eat when he gets when he you know is able to eat on his own. So I do want to get him prepared to be able to eat those things. But I did start noticing some food sensitivities at two months. Um, like like he's doing now, he likes to practice walking. He likes to stand up and move his feet. He wants to do that all the time 
it's even more intense now. But that is what he loves to do that now. Since, as soon as he turned two months, he was like, stand me up. He wants to stand on my legs. He wants to stand on the floor and try to walk to me. Or, you know, I hold his hand, hold his body, and, and, and he wants to move his legs. He wants to practice. So I do that a lot with him. Um, oh, yes, at two months, he looks towards the sound. So when something happens, he turns his head like really fast, which is, is pretty cool because before it was like you would say something, if something was happening over there, he would just be like, you know, slowly, but now he's just like straight to it. So that's pretty cool. He's his, his head. He just goes back and forth. It's, it's so cool to watch him. Like it really is. Okay. So next, uh, Oh, this is one of the things that is annoying. Now that he done got so chunky, this neck, the neck is hard to clean, okay? The neck is hard to clean. I'm going to have to make a video on things that I do to help clean that neck because it gets stanky under there. You little stank neck. <laughs> little stank neck, baby. <laughs> I just love you. So be sure that you are, you know, trying to use things, but I'll show you what I'll do. I'll use, show you my technique because for some reason they hate getting his, he hate getting his neck clean. He hate it. Like, he, he be holding his shoulders up and, like, real strong. I'll be like, dang, that's just neck is strong as hell. Strong neck, baby. <laughs> all right, all right. So, another thing is his eating has increased. Right now, he's up to about four and five ounces at each time. I know this because when he it, it eats out of a breast milk out of a bottle, that's how many ounces he eats. It's like, you know, I pump about six ounces at a time, and he'll eat up to four of that six ounces. Yeah, because these boobs be producing milk. You know what I mean, bitch? I'm a cow. <laughs> All right. Um, he has now stopped eating every two hours, and he eats every two and a half to three hours. But I try to pump so that I can keep my milk production up. I love the mom cozies. I told you guys that, and it is, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then I've already told you guys about the creamy poop texture. All of that are things that we experience in month two. I'm already getting my list together for month three, and one of them you can already see is this. Jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up to get down. Jump, 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 everybody jump. But yes, I am going to do this video and keep you guys updated on the things that he's doing as he grows. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. Say bye, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video with someone who is a born-again mom, because that's what I am. <laughs> All right.